In this video, we're gonna make a lead generation chatbot just like the one you're seeing on the screen now. This chatbot will be able to collect any kind of information you want, including names, phone numbers, emails, or really anything else for your needs. I'm gonna show you how to build this bot from scratch using VoiceFlow, and I'm also gonna have a separate video after this video showing how you can integrate it directly with HubSpot. So the leads that you generate from your chatbot will be sent directly to your CRM. Reason why you'd wanna have a bot like this on your website is because people will just naturally want to interact with it. And not only will be able to collect leads, but also answer any kind of questions that your clients have. And I think as this whole AI thing becomes more integrated in society, more people are going to opt to use the chatbot over typing in things like a form. Also, quick side note, if you need help building a chatbot and you want to work with me, check the link in the description below and book a free 15 minute call where we can talk about building some AI or automation integration for your business. But anyway, let's get into the video. So if you haven't seen VoiceFill before, it's honestly, in my opinion, one of the easiest and most intuitive ways to build online chatbots for any use case. And it's in my opinion, the best one to use if you're a beginner and new to all this AI stuff. But once you log in, you'll be brought to a screen like this and we'll just come up to new assistant up here to make our new chatbot. And for this chatbot, it's gonna be a financial wealth management chatbot for a company that I made up called Greenpath. I'll have a link down in the description below where you can download this exact chatbot and upload it into VoiceFlow if you don't wanna build it yourself. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'll just name this one Legion2 and then I'll select the modality as chat and the language as English. All right, once we're in our chatbot here, we have some template information, which by now we will just shift and highlight and delete everything. So we have a blank template to start with and let's get building. So what I want to start off here, like I do with most of my chatbots, is open it up with a greeting. So you can click on the circle, drag out, talk, text, and this will allow for our chatbot to speak. So I'll just have a quick introduction here. Hello, welcome to Green Path Wealth Management. Then another talk text, put it below. My name is Dave, how can I assist you today? Pretty simple. And now we can have some listen button choices for our user so they can kind of pick what kind of path they wanna go down, if they wanna use our chatbot to input their information or if they wanna answer some questions before they actually give their information to us, right? Just kind of giving them some options to provide that better user your experience to hopefully convert through the chatbot much easier. And I have three just templates for now, but you can obviously add more if you need. Um, one to get started now on the on inputting their information, or if they want to learn a bit more about your business, just right off the bat, or if they have an, another additional question. So we're giving him three options here. And then with these three options, we have three more bullet points for the user to move on from. We'll start off with the simplest here, learn more about your business. All this one is going to be is a talk text card with just some generic information about Green Path Wealth Management. Obviously, you can customize this any way you want, but for the sake of this tutorial, I just have Green Path Wealth Management is a boutique wealth management service designed to help you preserve and scale your assets. You can obviously add more or less, whatever you like, but this is just kind of an outline of how I like to do it and how I've seen them work in the past. Also, some more information. We offer in-house expertise that offer you the best opportunity vehicles to give you peace of mind. And then we can just follow it up with another talk text here. Hope this helps. You can also add things like image cards or carousels, which they're pretty self-explanatory. If you just want to show the user maybe an image of like your logo or something, if you have like maybe a couple different options, you could have like a carousel here, right? And then have different options. And then depending on the options here, you could maybe have like a button or like link or something to go off the page. But once again, for the sake of tutorial, we'll just leave it on, hope this helps. And then I will add in a button option after this. And I want to prompt the user to kind of move on from this. So, so for the first button, I'll say, let's get started. And then for the second button, I'll also add another question. I have a question. And this will allow the user to answer any questions they have about our service to hopefully convert them better into giving us their contact information. And this question piece here will use AI to answer literally whatever kind of questions that your potential client could have. What we can do is we can come here to run and we can just test this out. So if we click on run test, we'll see when we open the chatbot. Hello, welcome to Green Path Wealth Management. My name is Dave. How can I assist you? Learn more about your business. And then it will head over here and it will give us our text boxes here and then we can say let's get started or I have a question perfect so now what we can do is let's go on to the get started now so if we come up here and we drag this out we'll say talk text and we'll start collecting their information we'd love to help you prepare your assets for the future and then we'll also follow that up with another talk text card let's get some information and a team member will reach out to you shortly and we can start asking questions to collect their information and this can be as in-depth as you want as long as you give it a specific variable you'll be able to take 
take this information and then have it sent through an API call to whatever kind of CRM you want. Like I mentioned, I'll have a separate video where I talk about integrating this with HubSpot. But for this video, I'll just show you how to build this lead generation bot. So let's ask the user a question here. So we'll say talk text again, what are your primary financial goals for the next one to five years? And this is where we're starting to get some kind of information for this green path wealth management company. Once again, it can be anything you want. These are just kind of some of the preset questions that I have already come up with. For this example, we're going to say we can either grow current wealth, invest capital, or a third button will be preserve capital. So we have three different options here. And to get this to work correctly, what we're going to want to do is set these options to variables. Because what that will do is we'll then we'll be able to use those variables in our API call later down the line to then send this information that we captured from our lead bot to our CRM, the whole point of this tutorial, right? So we'll click on our button piece here. We'll come up to actions and what we want to do is set this button here to a new variable and for this we'll make a new variable i'll name this goals create new variable and what we want to do is set this in quotation marks to the value that the person is clicking on here so for this instance grow current wealth should be in here so i can copy this over and i want this to be in here so now when the person clicks on grow current wealth it sets the value goals to grow current wealth so now when we send the api call, it sends this information to our CRM. We can do the same thing for these ones as well. So we want to set goals here and we want this to be the same thing. Invest capital. There we go. And we'll do the same thing for the last one here. So actions, set variable, goals, quotation, preserve capital, and there we go. So now we have our three options here. And this is basically how we can collect information from our users through our chatbot. This is pretty much the same structure I'm gonna use for all these questions. I have a couple more questions that I want to ask the user. Come up here, we'll drag, and we'll make another talk text card. Do you have an existing budget or financial plan? We can just link all of these up to the same one. Because we're going from this first question here to the next question, it doesn't really matter what they click because we're always gonna to wanna to ask the next question after they've picked an option here. And for this, we'll say we want buttons here and we'll just have two options with yes, no, really simple. You can make these as complex as you want. We can click on actions, set variable, we'll set variable budget. We'll create a new variable for this one and we'll just do some simple quotes and say yes. And then also for the no, we'll make a new action set variable budget as well here and we'll name this no perfect so now we have our values set for our second question so i have another question here another talk text card and we'll say what is your current annual income and we'll have another listen buttons again also don't forget to link these all up say zero to 100k 100 to 300 maybe 300 to a million and then a million plus this all depends on your business what kind of information you want to collect and as i mentioned before you can download this exact bot that i'm making right now in the description below or you can follow along with me to kind of learn this stuff set variable we'll make a new variable for this one we'll call it income create new variable little quotes copy that over and we'll just do that for the rest of them. We have our answer set for this question. Do it one more time, talk text. I'll ask one last question. Do you have any existing debts or loans? We'll ask another button here and I have a couple different options. We'll say mortgage, school, multiple other or no loans. I don't even know if these are relevant questions but it'll do for this example, right? Make sure we connect them up here so that whatever the user chooses, it goes right to the next question. If for say you wanted to have it so if there was like a higher income bracket here you ask them questions about maybe how they get their net worth and you can have different questions set up for different answers i'm just doing this to kind of keep it simple but you really theoretically could have this you know branch out into another talk text here and then have this go right back into another question here you can set it up however you want it's all about making the best chatbot customized for your business to capture whatever kind of information you need we'll just continue on with this once again i'll kind of speed run this here we can set the variable and i'll set this one to loans create new variable quotes put that in there so it's the same thing for all of them really just capturing the information setting it to a variable just so we can use this later down the line so we'll come out and we'll drag this to a new talk text card and we'll then ask the user for their last pieces of information what is your full name and we'll use a capture here and we'll set this variable instead of last utterance to name create that variable and then we can do the same thing for talk text what is your email we'll do another 
listen capture. And for these captures, what we're doing is basically allows the user to type in their name and email. We don't have a button for the user's name. So they're going to want to type it in when they get prompted with what their name is. And then we'll do one more for listening talk text what is your phone number perfect and another listen capture card here and we'll name this to phone there we go so now we have everything built out for the lead capture so we can capture information on their financial goals their budget their annual income do they have any existing debts their full name their email their number and then we can take this somewhere and we can do really whatever with it we'll just start with a talk text here kind of reaffirm them that they have successfully captured their information so i'd like to say thanks name for all that information and we'll run through it once we finish this little section out but it will basically use the name that they inputted in this variable inside of this text block here so it looks a bit more personalized and a little bit more well thought out a team member will reach out within 24 hours to help and then just to wrap it all up thanks for choosing green path wealth management so we're giving them kind of like a closing statement we'll end it off with a little end card here um, but we don't have anywhere to send the information and i'll come back to that in a second so let's now focus on this last piece here, getting the AI component built into this chatbot to help the user out with whatever kind of problems they're having if they come across it or they just want to ask more questions about your business. I think it's super key to have something like this, especially in today's modern chatbots, just because it allows you to give that personalized, individualized feedback right then and there. They don't have to send a support ticket. They don't have to send an email or call someone. They can just type in the question they want and get an answer for it. And what we can do is I'll drag this out again, another talk text card. And then in response to this, what we will say is I'd be happy to help Just something really quick. And then I'll say another talk text here. And then what would you like to know? And then I did a little parentheses type of question. And then we can do another listen capture card here. And for this, we'll just name this variable question. You can honestly leave it as last utterance. I just like keeping these variables separate just in case you want to use them elsewhere. And then we can go into our AI component. We drag this out, AI, response AI. We can make the prompt, the question, the user user just inputted. There we go. And for this, in order to get a coherent response based off what the user inputted, we're going to need a knowledge base. And for that, I've got you covered if you want to use this example. So I have this lead gen PDF here, basically asking a ton of questions. I generated this with ChatGPT on our little business here. So it's just 50 questions in a Q&A format. You can go through it if you want, but it just answers a lot of general questions about our business. And we'll be using this for our knowledge knowledge base in our AI chatbot. If we come back into our chatbot, if we go into content here, I think it's a little bit different now. We then have the knowledge base, which is this little brain icon here on the left. And this allows us to add our knowledge base. And I don't know why it wasn't there before. It must have changed it recently. Basically, once you see knowledge base up here, you're in the right spot. And we'll come here to add data source and we'll select PDF. And I'll just select that PDF I just made, the Green Path q and I also have a link to where you can download this exact PDF if you want it in the description below. Pretty Pretty sure it comes along with the voice flow file just in case i'll have it down there for you as well um, but once you have this in here we're all good to go we can come back to designer and we can now click on our question and we'll select knowledge base so now if we click on preview we can enter in our question to query our knowledge base this is where it gets really fun so if they have a question say do you have long-term investment plans yes we offer long-term investment strategies tailored to each client's goals and risk profile sounds good to me what about say do you offer plans for families yes we offer financial literacy programs for clients, families. Pretty tailored. It's got you covered, right? And that was just off some chat GPT generated questions and answers. Obviously for your business, you're going to want to go through and answer as many questions as possible. But for the sake of this tutorial, this is going to be perfect for our use case. And there we go. So now we can take this question and I'll drag it out a little bit and we'll hit him with the talk text. So what will happen in the text sequence is it'll spit out if it gets a response and then it will say, hope that answers your question. So let's kind of trial this out to make sure it works. If click on run test and it goes to our regular flow here. I have a question. I'd be happy to help. What would you like to know? Let's just say like, how does taxes work? Something super broad. Oh, it didn't find anything. That's interesting. Let's try this again. I have a question. I'd be happy to assist. What would you like to know? We'll say, say like, is there plans for education? Yes, we provide guidance on savings and investing and then hope that answers your question, right? So let's continue on with this. Let's try to get them to convert through the chat bot. We'll say, would you like to get started? So now that they've had their question answered through our AI chat bot, we can now prompt them with a option here. Yes, let's get started. Or a different option. No, I have another question. 
question. So now we're kind of responding to what the user wanted and then prompting them if they have even more questions. And then for this, what we can do is we'll just drag the no, I have another question back to what would you like to know? And you can see we make this little feedback loop here until we have all their questions answered. And if they do say, yes, let's get started, we can just come up here and hit him with the great. We'd love to help you prepare. And just like that, we have a little chat bot built out. If we do like a little bit of moving around, make this look a little bit nicer. Yeah, that'll work for now. It goes back up there. And we can also connect our option here where they where we ask to learn more about the business. We can either select let's get started and it takes them right up to here where it says great. We'd love to help you prepare. Or we have I have a question where we send them to what would you like to know? So now we're giving them options based off what they chose here. We run this, check it out a little bit, see what I mean, learn more about the business. It runs through the little flow here. And then I have a question and then it runs through this little circle here. You get the point, right? Another thing I want to add though, real quick is just in case it doesn't find anything, I like to add just something a little bit here to kind of let them know that we were unable to answer their question. And then also add another text in here to please contact one of the representatives to help you out and then a hope that answers your question would you like to get started it's better than nothing oh that's for not found perfect there we go that'll work so now if the answer the question it'll go to hope that answers your question if it doesn't it'll say i'm sorry please get in contact hope that answers and then it just kind of goes through the cycle again maybe they ask the same question and try to figure it out that way you have to address that in your transcripts here if you have people use your bot you'll be able to see your transcripts and you can kind of figure out what kind of questions your users are asking and address them in a future knowledge base and yeah, that's all I really wanted to cover in this video here. This, in my opinion, is a really flushed out lead generation chat bot. Let's go through it and kind of give it a final spin. So we'll say run test. Hello, welcome to Green Path Wealth Management. My name is Dave. How can I assist you? Um, I want to learn more about your business. So I'm like, oh, what do they do? Oh, it's a wealth management service. Sure. I have a question. Let's see what they give us. What would you like to know? We'll say, so can you help me? I'm in my 60s. Oh, that's lame. I'm sorry, but I'm unable to answer your question. Now I have another question, damn it. Say, do you handle retirement savings? Yes, we assist in retirement planning, including asset. Hope that answers your question. Would you like to get started? Damn right, I'd like to get started. And it goes through the information we prepared here. So I want to invest my capital. Pretty sweet. Um, I do not have a budget currently. I have about 300K to a million. Um, I do not have any loans. My name is Don, could be your full name, but we'll go with that for now. Don at gmail.com. And our phone number, let's just do something like that. Thanks Don for that, all that information. Look at that, it even used the name here. Then it tells us the session ended and someone will be up, will be able to reach out with them within 24 hours to help. Last thing I wanna mention for our chat bot here is if you wanna integrate this on your website, all you have to do is come up here to publish and type in your name. So I'll type in like lead bot, click on publish, and then it will give you an option to add this to your website. So we click on embed widget. This is how it looks on the right here. And all I have to do is copy this code over and then add it to our website, anywhere in our body, top body tag there. If you have a developer, working for you you literally just send this over to them and they'll have it in within two seconds if you want to customize this you can do it all through the voice flow dashboard things like the name here if you even want to change the pixels or the colors or the image here even like the little logo and avatar here can all be changed right in there that's how you get this chat bot running on your site ready to collect the leads and now all we have to do is get this sent over to our crm and for that i want you to check out this video here where i show you how to take this very exact chat bot and send the information we just captured over to HubSpot so you can have a giant list of all your contacts ready for your sales teams to hit up. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below, but I'll see you guys over in that video.